Today we're bringing you a discussion video on Maxi coming back to 3 in the TCG. This is a topic that obviously has been talked about and debated for pretty much the entire time since it got banned in the TCG. You know, there's very mixed opinions on whether it should come back to 3, to 1, people call it Saki at 1, people say it's ridiculous at 3, it's ridiculous that we don't have it at all anymore when the OCG has it and you know it's on the game and people don't seem to realize a lot of the time as well the master dual ban list for instance or limited list whatever you want to call it is a mixture of both the TCG and the OCG and then some kind of weird in between that um, if some people didn't realize that that's not the the one that you normally play with the list um, whereas currently we don't have maxi legal in the TCG um, I personally feel it should come back to three I know there's a lot of pros and cons towards both sides of that argument. I would argue personally that Maxi could come back because it helps older decks play the game, basically. That gives them some sort of chance, a very little chance at that still. You know, if you're playing Black Wings or you're playing um, Grave Keepers or whatever old version of old deck that you like to play, I don't see why you shouldn't be able to play that um, just because you can't afford the best cards and you know that's been obviously one of the amazing things about master jewels people can finally play the newer cards and have more of a chance but i think maxi coming back would help the older decks you know give them more of a chance and get them back into the game some older players that might necessarily play it anymore because they got bored of the way the game was going even though it's been the same for basically the whole time you know i personally feel with maxi that other than you know obviously helping old players get back into the game it gives your opponent something to think about it's like another dynamic to the way the game's played as well i, lo I love the, the whole mind game version of when you get to a certain level of understanding you yeah when you you know when you know your deck and you don't really have to think about what your cards do too much there's another part of it that you come into with competitive play where you're trying to outthink your opponent and what they're doing in the next three turns that kind of thing and maxi only helps that kind of different edge in the game you know it, it punishes people if they're greedy you know if you take the maxi challenge and you can't kill your person your opponent that turn then you just completely you know you've killed yourself basically because they're going to draw twenty thousand cards like you can see in the video um and that, that's you done you know the whole way you win this game is having card advantage and more options available to you and that's what maxi's for and i like that about that like it it doesn't automatically say no like a lot of other hand traps do they just negate whatever effect you're doing and that's it whereas maxi kind of gives you the option to like ruin your own game in a sense and i like that it, you know it's another aspect to it and it you know, if you can, sometimes you can take the maxi challenge, and if you can if you can win, then that's great. But you know, majority of the time, you best just to probably end your turn, because um, giving your opponent card advantage is never a good thing. But that that needs to come back into the game thing. I enjoy that aspect of it. Um, you know, there is other options as well. If you if it came back to three, we could always bring Call by the Grave back to, to two or three, possibly to help counteract that. So then it gives people more of like a a chance against maxi if it's played on them. You know, there's other options. And another like side note as well for people that are playing it on Master Jewel at the minute, it's like a from what I've heard from a very few couple of friends that have been playing it. If you're going to use Maxi, maybe like put some Nibiru's in there or some some sort of out to boards because I've I've seen a lot of people online on Master Jewel where they they drop the Maxi um, and they might necessarily know that like even unless you draw into something that's going to out the full board of like you know ultimate negates that people can play in the. The higher ranks um there, there were really kind of no point because they're either going to kill you that turn or you'll go to your turn and you can't out their board anyway and then they just win the turn after so you really like maybe side some stuff in that you can draw into that helps you out the board as well rather than just drawing cards for the sake of it um a lot of people you see online as well don't seem to know to activate it properly so like a little side note again for people that are playing Master Jewel if you're new to the game or you've never played Maxi before, it's whenever your opponent special summons you can discard it and if every time they special summon that turn you can draw a card. But a lot of, a lot of people online drop in on their own turn which confuses the hell out of me but um, <laughs> I suppose when it's just telling you to activate a notification you just click it on the thing but yeah so that, that's that one side note for that but um, I'd love to hear your guys' opinions on whether you think Maxi should come back to 3 in the CCG. I personally think it should do, like for some of the reasons I've mentioned. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Make sure you go check out the other videos. Drop me a subscribe. Go follow us on Instagram for daily content. And we'll see you guys in the next video.